everything was fine and dandy. We had a great day at the pool. Yeah. A couple hours later, like, why do I feel weird? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> everything feels warm. I'm JD the Media Jack. That's Alicia Simpson and the Iron Bikini. And uh, we've, we're have we hanging out. And this is a great opportunity, we felt, to just kind of catch up on everything that's happened over the past little while, as well as uh, go over the first ever, uh, I, dare I say, the first ever vacation you and I have ever been on together. Because we've been on a handful of trips. Mm-hmm. But... This was a full-on front to start to finish vacation to Mexico. Real vacation. A real vacation. <laughs> and uh, we'll talk about uh, uh, a little bit of uh, bodybuilding as we're both uh, still into it, uh, at least living the lifestyle. Um, I'm doing well and making some progress and you're doing fantastic progress so we'll talk about that also if you're joining us live on twitch right now uh you'll see in the description ama ask us ask me anything or ask us anything so feel free to do that we like questions we like questions uh before we really roll into it uh the mediajack.ca is where you can go for uh, not only uh more podcast stuff but also our merch line which there's the media jack clothing and merchandise and there's the iron bikini clothing and merchandise and uh, we're always adding more stuff to it so eventually there will be something there for you if there's not already which is fun Mm -hmm. i love the hoodie (laughs) i still wear it all the time yeah the hoodie the hoodie looks comfortable yeah Mm -hmm. unlike this shirt but we'll get into the shirt later (laughs) (laughs) uh it's also where you can find uh, more podcast stuff and um, we haven't actually, and I'm sorry, I really am sorry, but we haven't talked about your website. Oh, my photography. Yes. Oh. Yes. Not only are you a bodybuilder and a model and a successful business owner, but you're a photographer. Yes. Yes. Shameless plug, lifestandstill.ca. <laughs> this show is all about shameless plugs. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what, what, what is it again? lifestandstill.ca there you go and what can people find there uh mostly landscape photography some still life like flowers and stuff and gotcha some vacation stuff actually i need to upload mexico photos yet but yeah, yeah. so let's talk about mexico now for, for anyone who is unaware mexico is a bit of a sore spot for me but i've always wanted to go but I, I wanted to go and I wanted to have fun, strictly have fun. Mm-hmm. And how long ago was it when your parents were like, let's go to Mexico? Oh, that was like 2010, I think. 20, 2009 or 2010. 2000. Really? You're talking about the first time I went, right? Yeah. Okay. So the first time you, me- you went to Mexico was like 2009, 2010. Yeah. Yeah. And how was that for you? I mean, that was over a decade ago. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. It was fun. I, I do have a lot of pictures. Um, we did a lot, excursions and stuff. I don't know. I think I, I was like, how old was I in 2010? <laughs> well, I mean, that's 14 years ago. 14 so, years ago, yeah. So you would have been 23? Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. yeah, I was 23, so 23 in Mexico. Like. <laughs> Let loose, absolutely. <laughs> it was pina coladas all day long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this time around, could only handle two. But gotcha. then it was like, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. Snacks. True. Late night. <laughs> Late night, every night. Tequila shots. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, your first time to Mexico was uh, over a decade, 14 years ago. Mm-hmm. And... This time around, uh, it was a couple of months ago where your parents were like, we should go to Mexico. And it was a the first time to do a vacation in a long time for you and your family of mm-hmm. your parents and yourself and your sister. Mm-hmm. But this was also the first time for me mm-hmm. to have a vacation, let alone go to Mexico. 
Mm-hmm. And I felt like a complete asshole, honestly. Because, <laughs> well, because like your, your parents would be like, so what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? And I'm sitting there going, Mexico. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it, was, it, was a, it wasn't a tough situation. It's just I had nothing to add. Yeah. Right. Because it. The, the expectations were nil. I, I had nothing to expect. You were very much the, the silent surveyor <laughs> of the situation. <laughs> I, was, I was blissfully along for the ride. <laughs> yeah, awaiting whatever comes next. Exactly. <laughs> so we, we decided on where? Cabo. Cabo San Lucas. Cabo San Lucas. And your, your parents were, were, were systematic. And very much in charge of like how things were to be done and what we were going to experience while we were there. So we went to Cabo San Lucas and we went to the Pacifica Resort. And your stepfather, Gary, love him to bits, was looking forward to this resort for one specific reason. Adult only. <laughs> <laughs> no kids. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Cabo San Lucas is huge. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. And like we, the week that we spent there, like we, we only saw like families and kids when we left our specific area, the Pacifica. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I'm getting ahead of ourselves here. So I didn't know what to expect. Like my boss was like looking at me like, you excited? As we're getting closer and closer to the vacation, and I honestly told her, like, I guess. Mm-hmm. She goes, what's wrong? I go, I don't know what to expect. I don't, like, I've been on long flights before. You and I have been back and forth to Quebec. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been back and forth to L.A. Uh, you've been, you've been to China. <laughs> yeah. You know? like 11-hour flight. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. So that's all I knew. Mm-hmm. But when it came to Mexico, like, I didn't know what to expect. Were you excited when we were getting closer and closer to leaving? Yeah, excited, nervous. As an, as an older adult, you definitely get more used to your uh, habits and routines. And it had been a long time, too, right? So, yeah, it was a mix of excited and nerves and mm. anxious. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, it was very much taking you out of your routine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was that a problem? Well, especially now as a, like in, when I was 23, I wasn't working out or right. anything then. So, right, right, right. So there is a little bit of anxiousness there, but mm-hmm. I mean, overall it turned out to not be so bad. No, it's not bad. Yeah. So let's, let's start off with uh, getting on the flight <clears throat> to, from where we are, Prince George, British Columbia, we had to fly from Prince George to Vancouver. How long of a wait did we have in Vancouver? Like not even an hour? Yeah, less than an hour. Less than an hour. And then it was Vancouver to Mexico. And in the morning, it was already... Because we, we had to wake up at 4 a.m. I was up at freaking 2.45. <laughs> I was also up at 2.45. Okay. <laughs> but I was just... Like, I didn't want to be up at 2.45. Yeah. I was awake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But got up, and I had breakfast, and I was ready to go. I had my luggage all packed, um, and you uh, were pretty much ready to go. Mm-hmm. Your parents, like, we, we carpooled with them to the airport. And the look on your mother's face, because uh, you had your baggage, I had my baggage, and I also had a loose garbage bag in my <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, gotta take out the garbage before you go. Exactly. <laughs> but your mom's looking at me like you're not taking that on a plane. <laughs> so you carry on. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was garbage anyway. So that that was already like we were already off to a fun start. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The flight from Vancouver to Prince George, uneventful. Mm-hmm. Uh, we re- we we had time in Vancouver to get to our next gate quickly grab something to eat to bring on to the flight Mm -hmm. and then hop on the plane and then fly to mexico yeah i mean that wasn't terrible no not at all it worked out pretty well yeah how did you feel when you got off the plane in mexico warm 
Warm. That was it? <laughs> Warm and... I don't know. Really? That's, that's fine. Just anxious again. Anxious. I, I was exhausted. <laughs> that too. You know, like I was doing my best to like keep my spirits up and just like, be excited. But at the same time, I'm like, just like, I just want to lay down. Yeah. Like we were up so early. Yeah. It had already been like a 12 hour day at that point. So. <laughs> and it wasn't because of like anything was wrong. We got mm-hmm. through customs quite quickly. Um, that, that one customs, uh, personnel was not impressed with you no they're never impressed with me i don't know why i don't know what is what it is about me i don't know it must be the tattoos it must be the the visible tattoos clearly (laughs) yeah um but regardless we got through uh, customs without any issues and then we had to grab a shuttle from the airport to cabo san lucas and already we're just well, okay, sorry. There, there was something else there that I wanted to add. Um, we were waiting for your sister mm-hmm. and her significant other. Mm-hmm. And we're standing out there in the sun. We had just gone from barely above freezing to well into 20 degrees Celsius. And we're standing there. We're waiting for your sister and uh, her significant other, Drayden. Awesome guy. And uh, we're standing how far away was that from like the front the door to the airport to where we were it must have been like 50 60 yards maybe Mm -hmm. anyway your 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 mom is looking for your sister i'm looking for your sister gary is off no he he was he was he found our tour guide or at least our connection for the for the trip mm-hmm. anyway I'm, I'm staring at the front and I see glasses long red hair and a mean mug went there she is <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't mean to look mean no she doesn't no 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 <laughs> yeah. Brooke is an absolute awesome woman but she does have resting bitch face <laughs> and, I'm sure she'd laugh at that <laughs> <laughs> so anyway we, the six of us are now all together. We're in Mexico. Mm-hmm. And I looked at the uh, the map of the airport to the resort, and it said 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. And Gary looked at that same map, and it said 15 minutes. How long did it take us to get from the airport to the resort? In Mexican minutes, is was, it was one hour. It was an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it was absolutely an hour. You even hear the Mexicans there referring to that as Mexican minutes. Mexican minutes, yeah, yeah. We'll get there when we get there. Yeah. <laughs> so it was an hour and I'm just exhausted. Yeah. Now when I got to the resort, I expected the same thing uh from every other you want it okay, here we go. I didn't know we were putting that on camera. That's fine. Um cheers. <laughs> Allison's not watching. What? No, no, it's just me. <laughs> she she's been good. She's <laughs> <laughs> anyway. When we got to the resort, I expected the same thing out of every hotel that I've ever visited and you ever visited. You just get off the shuttle, you grab your luggage, you go check in, you get to your hotel room, you collapse for like two hours, then you maybe get up, have a shower, grab something to eat. That's what I was expecting. Okay. I was not expecting what we got. We got the whole grand tour. We, oh. <laughs> we were spoiled rotten. Yeah. From the very start. Yeah. Who did we meet first? Um, was it Israel or was it Alan? Oh. I think it was Israel. I, yeah, I, I think so. I think so, yeah. Yeah. And... He was, he was our butler. I've never had a butler before. We had two butlers. We had two butlers. Because they would trade shifts. Yeah. <laughs> but it was, it was like we checked in. We, like before we even checked in, Israel was like, do you want 
us to take your luggage to your room. Mm-hmm. And, and your your parents were like, here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The rest of us were like, no, it's our luggage. <laughs> um, but we, uh, yeah, like we checked in and then Israel took us like, this is this is the hotel. It has uh, multiple towers and there's multiple floors. This is a bridge. That's the view. There's the pool. There's a swim up bar. There's a restaurant over there. There's a restaurant over there. There's a restaurant over there. Mm-hmm. By the way, here's the lounge, like which we have VIP access to, <laughs> which is a story in itself. <laughs> so we get to the lounge. And I'm exhausted. And we, we both have to pee. Ha- yeah, we both have <laughs> The whole time we're getting this tour, we have to pee. <laughs> Which is really hard to take things in when you yeah. just like, where's the fucking bathroom? Yeah, you know? but it was so nice. It was, but also like, we have to pee. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And you don't want to interrupt, right? No. Good Lord, no. You don't want to miss anything. Yeah. So we, we, we go through the entire tour and... Uh, we get to the lounge and at the lounge we're like washrooms cool we scatter off to the washrooms you and I missed like part of the introduction yeah and the introduction was uh, that the restaurants the bars the facilities of the resort we were on were all a part of the all-inclusive package Mm mm-hmm we missed that part. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you and I finally sat down with the rest of the family and grabbed the menus. And Israel had to once again say, like, everything on the menu is covered. Mm-hmm. I didn't know what to think. Oh, really? <laughs> You're like what? I I was I was still looking at the prices, going like I can't afford this. <laughs> <laughs> But everything on the menu was covered, and yeah. I I wanted a drink, but I I didn't feel I could order one. But anyway, I I slowly but surely started to clue in. Mm-hmm. Uh, after two flights of being fed nothing but tea, ginger ale, and chocolate covered cra- chocolate covered <laughs> crackers or cookies or whatever, that meal was incredible. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, and we had our mojitos, and we had you had your mojitos. Oh, you uh, didn't get one. I didn't have a single mojito. Oh, <laughs> not one, not one. Um, because there were other options, no other reason. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we're sitting there in the lounge, and there's this, there's this glassed off area of the patio, and it said VIP patio. What did you think when you saw that? Glassed off. What do you? What do you mean? Well, it was all sliding doors, right? Oh, it was just part of the VIP lounge. Yeah, it was a part of the VIP lounge. Yeah. And and I thought like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> you didn't think we could go out there? No. Really? <laughs> why did that? Why? Why would I think I could go out there? You didn't realize it was part of the lounge. I had. I had no idea what any of this was was in, like encompassing yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. So that's when Israel was like, "Oh, that's that's the VIP uh, patio, and you can see whale watching uh, opportunities out there." Oh, look! And I think it was like your mom or your stepdad who mm-hmm. were like, "Oh, there's a whale," mm-hmm. and we saw a splash. Yeah, yeah. And it was like three minutes later, a humpback whale came out of the water. Yeah. And that's when it was like, oh, we're VIPs. Oh, that's what it was <laughs> yeah. for you. Okay. I'm I'm slow. I will admit I am slow. Yeah. I the, the, everything after the flights, after the travel, I did not know what to expect. This was all absolutely new to me mm. all of it mm-hmm. to be given a menu and to see an open bar and go have what you want and not have to worry about paying it because it's already been paid for mm. that's all new to me mm. but apparently that's how 
Is that is that like how your parents prefer to do vacations? Which I don't blame them. No, no, we've never done, we've never done a five star luxury res, uh, adult only resort before. That was a first for that. But in the past, when we have done vacations, it was all inclusive. But we didn't have like the butlers or like VIP or anything. But it was all inclusive. Like you go there, you can go to any bar and like, hey, I want this. Okay, thanks, bye. You know, leave a tip if you want to want to, right? But yeah. Oh, we didn't have the butlers or anything like that. Oh, we we were leaving leaving tips left, right, and center. Oh yeah, like, yeah. We just had to feel bad. Not every <laughs> like every interaction, right? Exactly. <laughs> so it, it it was that it was almost at that point where it started to sink in. Okay. It, and then it was first of all just 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 picture this. Okay, you have just been on two flights from your hometown to a major city and then that major city to this resort an hour shuttle to the resort and before you've even seen your room the person who's trying to take care of you has already brought you to a restaurant said have anything you want on the menu have any drink that you can desire at all don't worry about what it costs you haven't even seen your room yet (laughs) And that's where we were. Yeah. We like so it was after we had something to eat. We were like, okay, now is the time to, to go see our rooms. And I, already I'm thinking to myself, like, this is fucking insane. I'll just sleep on the couch and the couch. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. <laughs> I don't need a room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that looks comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but is Israel took us to to uh first of all to your parents room and yeah. it was already like a chocolate cake and yeah. a happy birthday yeah. and we were there for their 60th birthdays everybody yeah exactly that, you know, that was the primary yeah. reason why we went yeah, yeah. um or, already in the chat and we are live on twitch right now uh james says you guys went to mexico and i was kind of jealous from what i saw looked like a great time uh soul says yeah look like a blast so mm-hmm. it, it really was and if you have any questions about the trip like feel free to ask yeah but anyway we we were then shown to our rooms one at a time mm-hmm. we and the rooms were beautiful oh yeah like best hotel rooms i've ever been in yeah same here yeah aside from the dirty mirror <laughs> oh yeah that's right oh oh god okay. I hate to have any complaint but it was very noticeable <laughs> so Alicia <laughs> what do you do for a living house cleaning house cleaning also are you OCD very yeah what's the last thing you want to see when you go into a hotel room streaks all over the mirror <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> yeah. It was like immediately walking into the hotel room, look to our left in the bathroom, look at the mirror and go, what the fuck is the f- that? Yeah, that's the first thing we saw, yeah. <laughs> like it's bad when I see this shit. <laughs> anyway, so. I hate to have any complaint though. Like they were amazing about oh, no, everything. Absolutely amazing. Like if there was any, any issue whatsoever, they were like on it immediately. Oh yeah, yeah. But... As much as I would love to say that that first night was the most best sleep I've ever had, mm. it was a rough sleep. Yeah. Like, I woke up sore and stiff and, and, and like, I have a bad neck. I have bad shoulders. And that was a rough sleep. Mm-hmm. But I had completely forgot that Israel, our butler, had said, if there's, if there's a different pillow that you want you can order from the pillow 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 menu menu. (laughs) which is there is a pillow menu people (laughs) there is a pillow (laughs) menu so we forgot about that yeah there was so much to take in though it was was just a lot to take in all at once and collectively we're probably on like six hours of sleep so yeah exactly (laughs) So that was pretty much the first day. I mean, you you and I had like 
settled in. We unpacked. Uh, we we took in like we took inventory of our space, and we had a beautiful view of the pool mm-hmm. and the ocean mm-hmm. and the resort itself. Uh, your sister and uh, her significant other were not too far away. Your yeah. parents. We're not too far away, mm-hmm. but still far enough away that if we wanted to blare music or make some noise, they weren't going to hear it. Yeah, it was it was a good, comfortable distance. It, it yeah. was a perfect, comfortable distance. Yeah. Uh, back to the comments here. Uh, Scythe Kaisen says, too much good looking right here. I appreciate that, Scythe Kaisen. Uh, oh, James. Talking about you? Yes. <laughs> Probably. Uh, James says, butlers and pillow menus. Can I have all the pillows, please? Oh, we'll get in. Yeah, actually, <laughs> we'll talk about that right away. Um, it was the next morning yeah. where I woke up. I was in pain. Mm-hmm. As much as I would love to say, again, I had the most incredible sleep, I didn't because the pillows just not working towards me. Mm-hmm. So that's when you and I looked at the pillow menu. It is a pillow menu. (laughs) And Mm. we ordered uh, specific pillows for our needs. needs. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And the next couple of, like, all the rest of the sleeps way better because of that. Because of that. Yeah. So Mm -hmm. that, that's, use the pillow menu. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Anyway, I didn't know what to do that morning. We flew in on Thursday. It was now Friday morning. I did not know what to do. I knew that we can go have breakfast wherever we wanted. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But I also knew that uh, we we wanted to hit the gym. And there was yeah. a gym on the facilities. Of course there was. Yep. Oh, yeah. I scouted. That was one of the first things I scouted out about this hotel before we even left. Yeah. And the, and the gym itself was was decent. Pretty decent. Yeah. yeah. So the next morning, um, not to get lost in the minutia of the details, but we we had breakfast, we hit the gym. What? Mm-hmm. What did we do? We didn't do anything specific on Friday, did we? No, that was kind of a get to know the grounds day, and our first pool day. And our first pool day. That's right. We also uh, hit the beach. Was that the first day? That was the first day. Okay, yeah. That was absolutely the first day. Yeah, we tried to. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like the beach hit us. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> so the the wind started picking up, um, and it was basically sandblasting us. Yeah, it felt like glass. Yeah, it, it did. Cut your skin. Yeah. Yeah. But I had I had this this mission that I wanted to dip my toe in the ocean. Mm. I wanted to say that I did that, but we were warned as soon as we got there that the rip tide, the undercurrent, sorry, mm. was very strong and we were not allowed to go into the ocean. Yeah. And the wind on top of that was making just walking on the beach a not, chore. Not very pleasant. No, it wasn't. So <laughs> the, I'll bring up the picture on YouTube um, of me where y- you were taking photos and it, I looked miserable. <laughs> well, <laughs> look the- <laughs> you looked like you had 50 kilometer winds in your face. Exactly. Which- yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's a wonderful picture and I posted it to social media and I, and I put it under the, I put the caption of I am vacation, <laughs> <laughs> which became a running trend Yeah. of of me i was having a blast oh yeah i was an absolute, absolute blast but there's just that one photo of just like me unimpressed nice little smirk <laughs> on your face <laughs> it was perfect yeah <laughs> we we took that day to explore the grounds what did we do that day like what did we get up to um breakfast gym second breakfast yes which involved uh what's that drink called samosa <laughs> oh you had samosa mimosa mimosa mimosas. 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 yeah yeah, yeah. mimosa um oh that's when he brought us that scooby-doo mystery oh. shot too 
<laughs> that's that's true. Yeah. Uh, was it Israel or was it Alan? That brought us the shot. Oh no! That was no. sorry. That was the another server. There. That was another server. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So, um, fun fact: uh, if you're sitting at one of the restaurants inside an all-inclusive lo- resort and you already have established that you drink alcohol, they will bring you alcohol at random. Yes. And uh, this wonderful server, all the staff were incredible, all of them. Mm-hmm. But this wonderful, wonderful server comes up and just drops some shots in front of us. And I, I ask, like, what what's in it? this? It's a mystery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he goes, Scooby Doo. I went, oh, it's a mystery. Cool. Oh, you said <laughs> yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. 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 It was good. It yeah, was really it good. It was good. Yeah. But just no idea what was in it. No was idea. <laughs> no idea. It could have been roofies for all I know. <laughs> but it wasn't because I was I was awake for the entire experience. Anyway, so I guess we just explored the grounds that day. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I don't really remember. Did we go? Oh, did we go up to the marketplace at the sister hotel? On the first day? Yeah. Or maybe that was the second day. I think. So Friday, Friday, I, I, th- I don't think we went up to the marketplace. Maybe we, no, you're right. We did because someone had mentioned chocolate factory. And, oh yeah. And, and we I'm not a fan of that. chocolate. I'm not a fan of chocolate, but someone mentioned chocolate factory and I was like, where the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, we did go to the marketplace yeah. that day. Yeah, because yeah. mom and Gary went for um, lunch at the diner that was up there, the 50s diner. Yeah. 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 So we went up to the marketplace on this resort, Cabo San Lucas, and the, the, the chocolate factory was inaccurate, but the chocolate store, the mm-hmm. sweets, the, the, the candies, the cookies... The market itself, which was, which was, when you, when you think market, you might think of like Grocery linens store. and, sorry. Grocery store, like produce all over. Or, or clothing or. Yeah. Shopping. Basically. Yeah, exactly. No. Yeah. This was a, this was a combination of restaurants. Mm-hmm. And. The, tr- the, the 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 immediately as soon as you walk in the door, you're hit with the chocolate stand, and there was truffles, and there was macaroons, and there was cookies, and there was fudge, and there was what 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 am what am I missing here? It was all very fancy made stuff. Like yeah, the fanciest truffles you could imagine, the fanciest little like mini cakes. Yeah. The fanciest cookies, the fanciest, I don't know, fudge. There was just everything. Yeah. There there was there was one we ultimately like of course we had some cookies. Um but there was one cookie called like the millionaire's Yeah, millionaire's shortbread. Bar. Yeah. Shortbread. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there wasn't much to it. I'll I'll be honest, like there really wasn't much to it. But constructing what that was, which was shortbread a layer of shortbread with um like caramel on top of it yeah. as well as some truffle and then coated in chocolate and decorated on top. Go ahead and try to fucking make that at home. It was like a Twix bar with art. Oh, yeah. On it. <laughs> Absolutely. So but like the best tasting Twix bar, I mean. Yeah. Like so good. Exactly. So and your parents went to the 50s diner. Yeah. Which was dare I say historically accurate. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. And there was other restaurants there. There was a strictly vegetarian restaurant. There was an ice cream shop. There was a there was an Asian influenced fusion restaurant. Mexican food, coffee shop. Oh yeah, bakery. (laughs) Absolutely. Uh, So Friday was exploring the grounds. Yeah, it was absolutely like exploring uh, what was close to us. Mm -hmm. I think it was at the end of the day that your sister had informed us that she had scheduled some stuff for us as well as a uh, being subjected to a sales pitch. 
That was the next day. Yeah. That was the next day. That was that was Sunday. Saturday. That was the Saturday. Sorry. Yes, you're right. You're absolutely right. Oh yes. wait, don't forget about our our first pool night. No, no, I haven't forgotten. Okay. Yeah. Uh, James says the beach was was. The beach was like, I'm sorry, uh, what are these Canadians doing <laughs> here? Uh, be gone to get more maple syrup. Yeah, no, and the beach was, it's not foreign to us. We know what beaches are. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay, our first pool day. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, my first experience with a swim up bar. Yeah, mine too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. I'm that, pretty sure, yeah. That didn't happen 14 years ago? No, I don't remember a swim-up bar. Oh. I remember being served drinks by a pool, but not a bar right in it. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Well, that was definitely absolutely a first for me. Mm. And I think we joined your sister. And Drayden. And Drayden. I think your folks were there too, were they not? No. I think it was just, I think it was just us four. Okay. Yeah. It was, it was nice. It was, it was fun. It was so nice. The water was great. We had some beer in the pool. (laughs) When, when Alicia and I have beer, you you know that we're trying new things. (laughs) (laughs) We had a tequila shot as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, We, Yeah. we, we, there was a couple of drinks in there. Um, and and I will admit, anyone who knows me uh, knows that I am a lightweight. Um, me too. I'm not a heavy drinker, yeah. and uh, we had a lot of drinks that that week. Yeah, we did, <laughs> especially Saturday. So, oh my goodness. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I I don't know why, but I you had a beer. Did you have a beer? Because I know I, I had a beer. Yeah, I think I was just sipping yours and Brooke let me try hers and yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I finished my beer and both Brooke and Drayden were like, the hell, man? Oh, yeah, you downed it in like two seconds. <laughs> like, what, are you, what are you doing? <laughs> it, it wasn't two seconds. <laughs> but, but it was quick. I will admit it was quick. <laughs> but there was a reason why. Why? I was in a pool. I didn't want to... <laughs> I didn't want to be swimming around with this, holding this beer in my hand. So I was like, oh. well, I'm not going to pour it out. I'm going to drink it. You could have you set it down somewhere at the bar. No, 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 no. no. I'm just going to drink it. Not, just going to drink it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not against beer. I'm, yeah. I'm, not a ba- I'm, not, I'm not a fan of generic beer. Uh-huh. Right. But I'm not against beer. Just <laughs> I. So shout out to Dan. Uh, my my clone, mm-hmm. my would be brother. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's actually the one who taught me how to slam a beer back. Because oh, yeah. when it comes to drinking beers quickly, he's a champ. Oh yeah, he is. He's the man. You win at beer pong. <laughs> this was way before beer pong was a thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, he was. He's a he's a champ. So he taught me how to drink beer quickly. And my thought was, I'm in a pool. I want to just swim around and have my hands free and then like mm. dip my head underwater. The last thing I want to be doing is holding a beer this entire time. So down the hatch as it goes. So <laughs> your your sister and Drayden were like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're like beer connoisseurs. So <laughs> it wasn't good beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the what was it the Modelo or the something? I, I think so. Yeah. 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 Anyway, mm-hmm. swim at bar was was an absolute blast. Um, was that the first night I had a pina colada? No. No. No, we had that like a few nights later. I think we had we we had we had something else. We had something specifically with tequila in it that night. I think so. Or are you talking about? No, that sushi night specifically. Night. No, sushi yeah. night was the next night, right? No. Wait. Oh, boy. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's all a blur now. I wrote it all in my journal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Anyway, regardless, uh, that was cool. A swim-up yeah. bar, 
uh, if you have a you go to resort with the swim up bar, it's it's a good time. Mm-hmm. That was our sushi night because the night before we went to Siempre. The first night we got there, our first dinner, we were at Siempre. The next night, Friday night, I wore my green dress. Was right. sushi night. The next night, Friday night was sushi night. That's the, when we had those red drinks, right? Green dress. Oh yeah. Is that what you're talking about? The other tequila drink? Was that tequila? That was tequila. That's yeah. right. It was like tequila and clamato juice and something else. Sriracha. Sangria. Sangria. That's Sriracha. Right. You you keep wanting to say that too. <laughs> I know. I don't know why my brain goes it was there. Sangria. <laughs> yeah. Sangria. Um, sangria. 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 That's that's actually something else too. Um, so we're in Mexico. We're in the we're in deep Mexico. Uh, I've been studying French for years. Right, I am, I am inherently French. Mm-hmm. You've been studying Spanish for years, and you, 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 you were able to translate and communicate and do well. My dumbass, <laughs> <laughs> when when it's like I can't speak English here, I have to speak a foreign language. I'll speak French. Oh, that yeah. shit doesn't work. <laughs> oh yeah, you were doing that, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> the, the 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 poor person behind the counter whenever that happened looked at me like i was on crack like, <laughs> like you should have said like oh your, your french is beautiful <laughs> yeah 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 exactly <laughs> anyway um the language barrier wasn't much of a big deal yeah um in fact like i picked up a few things like it's gone it's gone now but i picked up a few things while i was down there mm. um but uh i was able to moderately understand what was going on when someone was speaking their native language in Mexico, you had a better time, but at the same time, you like you were like kind of hesitant. What do you mean? Like you didn't want to. Oh, for speaking Spanish. Yeah. Uh, I'm just very slow at speaking it, and yeah. they talk so fast. I don't they have do. Enough, yeah, like I don't have enough experience speaking with a real human, so yeah, I just yeah. Yeah. Every now and then, like things would just come out. Like when I was asking what a certain drink was, like "Cuáles son las bebidas?" "Los azules." What are those drinks? The blue ones. Like, like that just came out, right? I was like, later on, it's like, oh, cool. Yeah. (laughs) Of course, it helped that I had, you know, two pina coladas in me. (laughs) 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 You get get a little braver. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sushi night, which. uh, yeah, yeah, we were in Mexico and we had sushi. Uh, <laughs> we we did not have control over the menu and the food just kept coming. Oh, there's so much of it. So much food. It was so good. Then someone someone else had ordered shots with a red something chaser. Mm-hmm. And was it was it you or was it Brooke who were like, what's that? Oh, that was me. That was you. Yeah. Right. And so they brought tequila shots and the sangrita. And it was Clamato and sangri- Sangrita, right? Sangria. Sangria, sorry. <laughs> I, I'm not going to get points for pronunciation. Anyway, <laughs> it brought them to the table and I I felt as though it was a it was a it was a cop out, honestly. Because the red shot took away any burn or flavor or taste of the tequila oh yeah yeah it it turned out it was supposed to be like a like a sipping thing or something yeah there was something about it yeah Yeah. but it wasn't like a fun like oh let's do the shot it's gonna burn (laughs) (laughs) it was like oh yeah 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 yeah, it's like (laughs) the the challenge is gone (laughs) you know like these it was it was good. It was good, <laughs> but uh, it, it would have been forgettable if it wasn't for the fact that it was just so different. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. So, mm-hmm. uh, what was the first adventure? This was the first adventure, right? The, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, Camel Safari. Camel Safari. And just for record's sake, this is like, 
clinging on to my skin like I'm Superman. You're on display. I am. And <laughs> this is a size large. <laughs> Mexicans are small. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, the the Camel Safari, which was not a too far distance away from the resort. Mm. Yeah, yes, yes. JD and that camel, yes. Um <laughs> There, there. The photos will will come up. But anyway, we got to this resort, and the resort was camel ride. What from what I can remember, it was a camel ride, a dinner, and tequila tasting. Yeah. And Chica's our guide mm-hmm. was an absolute hoot. Mm-hmm. He was hilarious. Yeah. Chica's was a amazing. Mm-hmm. But. Uh, your sister had scheduled this. Am I missing something here? Because I feel as though, like, I'm, I don't want to get things out of order because there was the sales pitch. And I don't want to forget that. The sales pitch. Oh, right. That was Saturday. <laughs> sales pitch was Saturday. Yeah. Right. Okay. So let me jump back. We signed up to go through the sales pitch, which. For a timeshare. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it included a free breakfast. Yeah, yeah. And discounts. Uh, yep. <laughs> things things were promised. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got discounts. We got something that resembles a breakfast breakfast. Um and we got an incredible tour of the grounds, honestly. Mm-hmm. Cuz we got to see parts of the resort that we wouldn't have gotten to see. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, we got to see inside what would be possibly someone's home there or rental property. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. But we had to sit through the sales pitch, and your 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 parents were already like, "We've been through this. We're not going to do it. Yeah. We're here for the discounts," and they were upfront about it yeah. with the sales reps. Yeah. And the sales reps were actually like very delightful, mm-hmm. but. Uh, <laughs> The, the the tour was amazing. The properties that we saw and the locations that we saw were stunning. The first location we went to, like they should have finished with that because that was oh the um, house the house with the infinity pool yeah. and the fact that you could book this place and you can make a Costco order ahead of time and they will throw it into your freezer and your fridge and you're ready to go by the time you show up. Mm-hmm. Like they should have they should have ended the tour with that. <laughs> Cuz that was amazing. Yeah. But anyway, we we had to sit through this this sales pitch and the breakfast like your mom was not impressed by that breakfast. No. 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 I think we ate most of hers too. Yes, we did. <laughs> yes. But we got through the sales pitch, but the entire reason why we wanted to do that is because if you get through the sales pitch, yes, you get fed, kind of, but you get discounts on other stuff. And one of the stuff was this thing here, the Camel Safari. All right, so let's get into the Camel Safari, which your sister forgot how tall camels are. Yeah, she's afraid of height. <laughs> <laughs> but the camels were absolutely delightful. Mm-hmm. Well trained. Yes. And while we were... So we get to the location. Uh, we didn't have to wait long. We got onto a camel. Two camel... Or two people per camel. They were delightful. They were friendly. We... The, the, like, the ride took like maybe 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Um the there was a photographer who was running around like a chicken with its head cut off there was mm-hmm. a drone that was there following us yeah yeah the drone video is as you can see right now just if you're watching on youtube it is incredible because it really shows off like the beach as well as like the camels and just the scope of the of the area Mm-hmm. Uh, Chicas gave us a rundown of what camels, their history, humpback or one hump, two hump, uh, all that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. He was delightful. Yeah. 
And then we got a tour of the grounds where he gave us explanations or reasons or history behind certain plants, mm-hmm. certain animals native to the area. Yeah. Then we had dinner. And mm-hmm. dinner made sense after uh, the entire tour because we had dinner and then we had a whole bunch of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely buzzed when we left there. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Yes, we were. Now, Chicas went over uh, what tequila was, what real tequila entails, what mezcal is, which was a delightful surprise. Uh, And we ended up tasting, taste testing one mezcal and three different types of tequila. Mm -hmm. What? Do you remember of that experience? Um, the mezcal was very smoky. Not my favorite. I think I liked the tequila blanco. Oh, the first one. one. Yeah. Which I think was the one that was like the youngest tequila or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember the, the pregnant lady. Ah, <laughs> uh, the- Baja something baja california tequila or something like that yeah i think you're right yeah 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 and like it was in a bottle that that was shaped like a pregnant lady (laughs) (laughs) and you know the connotation behind that (laughs) if you finish the bottle someone's gonna end up pregnant (laughs) yeah yeah um the mescal like i i remember i i remember the, what the mezcal tastes like. I remember the pregnant lady stuff, which was like a dessert tequila. Mm-hmm. And I remember basically what the Blanco, Blanco? Blanco, yeah. Blanco, mm-hmm. sorry. Um, what that tastes like because it tasted like tequila. It just didn't kick me in the ass later. Yeah. Uh, the mezcal was unlike anything I've ever tasted because it 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 tasted... I don't mean to. I don't mean to sound mean, but it tasted like an ashtray, ashtray, but not in a bad way. <laughs> it tasted like you were standing too close to a very comfortable bonfire. Hmm. You know. Yeah, yeah. And when Chica's, which again, highly recommend. Uh, when Chica's asked if we could, if you wanted seconds of anything, I deliberately said mescal because I know I'm never going to have this again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, I will have the tequila a second time, absolutely. But the mezcal, like, I had to try to remember that taste. Yeah, yeah, yep. I wasn't as big a fan of it. I had the blanco. I'm not saying I was a fan. <laughs> I'm just saying I had to have more of it. Right. right. The the pregnant lady stuff, it would, uh, which literally, again, if you're watching this on YouTube or on Spotify. Look at the bottle. It looks like a pregnant lady, and the re- yeah, and the the rationale behind it is that if you finish a bottle, someone's getting pregnant. Um, we asked about the worm in te- in mescal, not tequila in mescal. Yeah, yeah, right. Which we didn't have any there, but we were just curious about it because we had it before. And, yeah, yeah. So turns out the worm in a bottle of mescal will always you explain that i'm gonna go pee yeah it's yes, fine so uh, a worm in a bottle of mescal will always sink to the bottom if the alcohol content is high enough and that is basically a litmus test to make sure that the mescal is proper it has the right amount of alcohol it's also a test to see if anyone is trying to fool you in basically trying to cut the mescal with water because if the worm at the bottom of a bottle starts to go up that means that the alcohol content is becoming less and less and less you can drink the entire bottle of mescal and the bot and the worm at the bottom of the bottle will stay there at the bottom also if you eat the worm or drink the worm Apparently, it's like three to five times the alcohol content of a usual shot because it just sits there and absorbs the alcohol the entire time. <laughs> so, so I, I don't think we live in a world where 
there are worms in the bottles anymore. And it's not a worm. Oh, yeah. What was it? It's a butterfly butterfly larva. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, we, we learned that. Yeah. That was neat. Yeah. But, any other thoughts of this tour? Oh, it was just... It was amazing. Yeah. I had, like, when we were out there on the beach, camels on the beach in Mexico, for one, is like, what? <laughs> I keep telling people about that, and they're and they're like, "There's camels in Mexico." <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. They are pets. <laughs> <laughs> but I kept every time, or when we were out on the beach, I had a couple moments where I was like, "Wow, I can't believe this is happening right now." Yeah, absolutely. But I don't know if I'd do it again. It's kind of like one of those things, like once in a lifetime thing. Like, oh, this was really cool. Okay, on to the next thing now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, what was the next thing? The next uh, excursion? Yeah. That was the Sunset Cruise. That so so that was that was more for well the first part of it was more for you than it was for really anyone else because we got to see the arch. Oh yeah. Yeah. El Arco. Yes. Land's End. So. Oh, wait, we should mention it was Cabo Adventures is the name of the tourist company that does the camel thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Does all of these things, I think. Absolutely. Cabo Adventures and uh, Chicas is an absolute gem of a person. Hilarious. Yeah. Uh, And very attentive, too. So Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. one of the best. Anyway, the... El Arco. Hmm? El Arco. El Arco. I don't know. That's... They call it El Arco or Land's End. Yeah. Before we get into the Sunset Cruise, uh, we had a chance to walk through a legitimate Mexican market. And we we got separated from your sister and her significant other. Oh, yeah. And we walked through a Mexican mall, Mm -hmm. which looks like, dare I say, a Canadian mall or an American mall. Mm -hmm. Uh, Just slightly different stores although there was a store that was just ch- chock full of firearms oh yeah what was that i don't know yeah it was like some sort of combat store yeah <clears throat> i was like i want to go look walk past that and i walked past that and went weird <laughs> <laughs> yeah um in a mall yeah <laughs> yeah yeah exactly it was like right next to it was like a grocery store yeah Anyway, maybe Sephora was next door or something. I don't know. <laughs> so, we we walked through a legitimate uh, Mexican market, and uh, security was out there in full force. Uh, there was there was uh, there was a security guard holding an MP4. There was security guards in full uh, camouflage flak gear, uh, holding an M16, and I I was having a hoot with it. Because I thought like this is this is cool this is this is like the safest place to be, mm. because they were bored. <laughs> they were bored out of their mind. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you said one was like looked like it was gonna fall asleep or something. Exactly. You know, and this to me that just means that you know okay so they're geared up they have a uh, hardware they have serious weapons but they are just relaxing. You know, so this is a great place to be. But we were approached like every 20 feet by that vendor and this vendor and those cigars and that clothing and blah, 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 blah. I was offered weed like maybe a dozen times to which, no. (laughs) (laughs) The last, no offense, but the last thing I want is Mexican weed. (laughs) (laughs) But. That was kind of cool. And then we got into the Sunset Tour, which, first of all, the crew were looking like they were having a blast of a time. Oh, and yeah. secondly, the tour, if it wasn't for the gusting winds, oh, yeah. would have been perfect. I felt like I was going to blow away. Yeah. Me and my camera. Yeah. <laughs> you got some incredible photos. Uh, mm. We were there to celebrate your stepfather's birthday yeah mom's was the night before yeah and or no two nights before sorry yeah and uh 
we got to see the arch and just out in the ocean which was completely new to me and it was beautiful we had a great time i got up because you convinced me to start dancing alcohol helped yeah (laughs) that's when we had uh our first pina colada that's when we had our first pina colada okay yeah yeah i'm a fan of pina coladas oh yeah yeah (laughs) so uh, hard alcohol and pina coladas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the tour itself was, it was a lot of fun. It was. Yeah. It really was, even despite the wind. Yeah. I just remember the good times, the dancing, the tequila, the conga line where they were feeding us tequila. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The the limbo and yeah, yeah. your your stepfather like got up and did a birthday shot straight yeah. from the bottle. and Yeah. That was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the time we got back to the hotel, I think we just. Did you have more drinks? That night, I don't. I don't think so. No, no we were just in the, the little bar, Pescados, and everyone else having another drink. Yeah, I, I, I think you and I called it a night that night. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah. It was the night, two nights before that that we had drank a lot you had we drank a lot part. <laughs> sure me we i missed that part yeah yeah that's true um uh, we did let loose one night saturday night after yeah. mom's birthday that's true yes which was we, also beautiful yes we did let loose that one night um i i will i will i will say this that we we hit the gym as often as we usually do mm-hmm we definitely got our steps in on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. We never got sick to the point where we were sick sick. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that was primarily because of the fact that we were like hydrating and getting our steps in and exercising. Protein and fiber. Protein and fiber. Protein and fiber. Absolutely. So of of taking advantage of an all-inclusive uh, vacation, we we pretty much came out scot-free other than the fact that you started to get sick like a couple of days in i think it was allergies though right right because it's been kind of on and off since but it was definitely worse down there yeah so so i mean beyond that Mm -hmm. we i think we did quite well yeah yeah i think so yeah we hit up every restaurant in the resort Mm -hmm. and Honestly, the the restaurant that was in the very center, what's that called? Siempre. Siempre. My favorite. Yeah. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Pen- the Peninsula, when we went there for mom's birthday, that one was really nice, where they brought us the amuse-bouche and <laughs> all that stuff. Yeah. You know, the, what was it, what was it that you had? The, it was like on charcoal when you got it or something. Oh my goodness! What was that? It was like a cl- clam or something. Oh yeah, no, yeah, that's right. It was, it was, it wasn't oysters. It was definitely shellfish of some sort, and yeah. it was oh so all the food. Not one complaint of the food there. Oh yeah, like we had breakfast uh, brought to our room every morning, and it was perfect mm-hmm. every single morning, and mm-hmm. every meal like we were spoiled with, absolutely. Yeah. So. There was even one time where like we had just finished a workout and we missed an opportunity to have second breakfast. And yes, like hobbits, we were having second breakfast. Uh, <laughs> and we were like, we, we want, we were just looking for like simple protein and vegetables. And in the lounge, the, the server that was helping us was like, let me handle this. And we ended up getting incredible roasted vegetables and big piece of chicken oh it was perfect yeah it was so good so good <laughs> like i want to eat that every day now <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> um i know we're skipping over a few things here but uh what what else is notable of the entire trip uh me and brooke singing zombie zoo <laughs> Shut up with your friends after that. <laughs> uh, oh, 
question. <laughs> I love the fact that the uh was was a unison. Where the hell did that come from? Um, we grew up listening to Tom Petty, right? Oh, okay. Just on our whatever adventures we went on, camping trips, that's always what would be playing in the car was Tom Petty, 70s rock, and that was one of our favorites. Like, we would sing it when we were younger, and I think it was the first night in Cabo when um, Brooke was getting me to sing, and I was like, oh, we're doing this, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just became like a, a running, another running theme of the yeah. whole trip. Yeah. Zombie zoo every night after a few drinks. It, that was that was a side of you I've never seen. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think most notably, like, cause, cause like we we took it upon ourselves to like adventure around, uh, check out different parts. Uh, I did a lot of walking around. Um, you and I hit many flights of stairs, mm-hmm. but Wednesday it was Wednesday. Our last day? Our last day. The sky pool. Yeah. That was so much fun. Um, and best view in the whole resorts. Without question. Yeah. The best view. But, oops. <laughs> <laughs> um, We were told, first of all, go to the sky pool, get there early. We got there yeah. at like... 10 30 yeah 10 30 like the bar wasn't even open there was a swim up bar the bar wasn't even open but the view was amazing now immediately like you and i had already like put on a layer of sunscreen Mm -hmm. and like like okay like we're gonna be at the highest point of this entire resort we're gonna go swimming early in the day um let's do our best to just not hurt ourselves Mm -hmm. so we got up there First of all, stunning. Mm-hmm. Pina colada. Pina coladas. Well, <laughs> that's just it. Like the the swim up bar was not even open yet. Yeah, but he brought us our drinks. Uh, I think it was five ten minutes before it actually opened. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so pina colada. All right, cool. Started swimming a little bit more than your sister and and Drayden shortly followed, and mm-hmm. more drinks and more swimming. And okay, let's put on another layer of sunscreen. Okay, Food. sure. Food. Oh, yeah. Food. Food. A hot hot dog that had no reason to be that fucking good. (laughs) Hot dogs in Mexico. (laughs) Hot dogs in Mexico. Exactly. Um, We spent three hours up at the sky pool. Yep. Just swimming and drinking and bullshitting and meeting other people and, and... I had four, three, four pina coladas. I think it was three. Three? Yeah. Me too. Like Pina coladas. Two or two. Yeah. Two and a half. I don't know. I, I don't know why we decided to leave, but it was like we, we realized we had been there for like three hours and mm-hmm. I had been attacked by an umbrella. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quick story. Um, I had finally like okay, I've done enough swimming. I've I got enough alcohol in me that like I think I should probably just like sit down for a moment. I sit I go to lay down on a beach tower towel, beach towel and chair. And I'm face first. I'm kind of just trying to position myself and I hear someone start yelling like whoa 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 whoa. And I'm thinking to myself like fucker, I'm not doing this wrong. I know what I'm doing. And I finally get comfortable in this chair and I turn around and there's an umbrella right here. <laughs> like the the full of the umbrella is like right here. I had watched it come at you. It happened so fast. I didn't even hear you say a peep. <laughs> I didn't hear this other guy. <laughs> yeah. But uh, so this is an umbrella right here, right? Be- between me and another beach chair. And I'm like, oh, that's what all the yelling was about. And suddenly I hear this guy start going off like that's un that's unsafe and that's blah 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 like that that's that's nearly a lawsuit and blah, blah, blah and I'm sitting there thinking to myself like I'm I'm fine mm. like I'm nothing happened right and there's a woman who's like two or three chairs over and like yeah, apparently the umbrella skipped over her 
and then landed right close to me and mm. and she's like I'm looking at her going like you good? And she's like I'm I'm okay. Turns out that the guy who's making all this noise that was his wife. Mm-hmm. And he was just making noise to make noise. Mm. While well, the staff there were like on it immediately. Right. Yeah. And they like We shouldn't have had the umbrellas open. No, so. we no we it was too windy. <laughs> yeah. Uh but anyway, so <laughs> I was like, I almost got killed by an umbrella, I guess. Um, <laughs> but the staff were like, we're so sorry. Blah, blah, blah. I'm I'm looking at him going like, it's fine. Mm-hmm. Like, we're fine. So mm-hmm. anyway. I think we had seen a couple umbrellas open and that's when we opened ours. Like, yeah. oh, I guess we're allowed to do this. And then turns out, no, we weren't actually allowed to. Yeah. Yeah. Which, again, was fair. But we got back to the hotel room. And that's when we knew we were in trouble. Oh, yeah. Like, everything was fine and dandy. We had a great day at the pool. Yeah. A couple hours later, like, why do I feel weird? (laughs) (laughs) Everything feels warm. Why? (laughs) Yeah. No, I had burnt my front and my back, and I still have a weird tan line on my one shoulder. Mm -hmm. You, worse. (laughs) I had, like, a stripe <laughs> down my left leg. Yeah. Both my thighs were burnt, my chest, my shoulders, and under my bra line. Oh, yeah. And, and one... One shin. One that's shin. My, that's my stripe, my racing stripe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Just, like, of all the tan lines. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that was a new one. So I don't know. Can I, like, show it on camera? Can you? It's still kind of there. How do I... That's the camera there. Oh. I don't know. Can you see anything? Uh, hold on. It's still kind of red. Kind of, yeah. Uh, it, looks, it looks worse in person, but yeah. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Uh, of all things, we burnt on the... Well, you and I burnt on the last full day that we were there. Yeah. And so it made the ride, the flight back to Prince George a little bit uncomfortable, but warm. not unbearable. Yeah. yeah. It's very warm. Yeah. <laughs> so overall, like an incredible trip. Cabo San Lucas, uh, the uh, the tours that we went on, the staff that we saw, the resort that we were a part of, like would go again in a, heartbeat half a heartbeat yeah just yeah. amazing yeah same here yeah not when it's windy though no that was the one downfall like yeah. you and i didn't get a chance to actually walk the beach again because it was just far too windy mm-hmm. but um i mean everything was just amazing oh yeah service was incredible yeah <laughs> Above and beyond yeah. anything we could ever expect. Yeah. yeah. Even the butlers, they're like texting us morning and night like, can I do anything for you? May yeah. I assist you in any way? You yeah. Know? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Just the the attention to detail and, and the care that they were putting out on a daily basis uh, throughout the day, just like constantly, not, not to annoying part, but just a reminder of like, hey... This service is available. You can contact us with anything at all. All you have to do is just let us know. Mm -hmm. Like we had food delivered to our room. We had pillows from the pillow menu delivered to our room. We had drinks. Like there was one night where we were like, we we could use a drink. We went to the lounge and guys like, what do you want? (laughs) (laughs) Grabbed a couple drinks, went back to the room. Yeah, they they had even closed the bar at that time, but he went to the back and just got us like an extra large thing of whiskey exactly <laughs> yeah so so insanely spoiled yeah Utterly and the spoiled. buffets we didn't mention the buffet the, the oh. breakfast buffet on sunday oh that was anything anything you could picture anything yeah. you could picture for breakfast or even like an early lunch anything at all mm-hmm. it was there including steak and lobster yeah it's just <laughs> Oh yeah, like omelets on demand, and and pancakes and waffles and eggs and oatmeal, and chicken and hash browns and 
Sushi. There was even sushi there. Sushi. <laughs> yeah. Uh, roast beef, chicken, Mexican food, like traditional. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Simpsons donuts. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the donuts, perp or pink with sprinkles. Simpsons donuts. Breakfast, right fucking there. <laughs> and a waiter would come by like mimosa. <laughs> <laughs> Or Bloody Mary. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 that's right. That, that one morning where I was, again, I was not hung over the entire time, which, like, it's so incredible. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, there's 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 a partial reason why is the, that I was never hung over. But uh, I, I did have my fill of alcohol. And the waiter came by and asked if we wanted something to drink. And I said, no, 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 I'm good. And and the waiter like, Bloody Mary? <laughs> like, no, no hair of the dog. I'm okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> but while we were there, um, you can hold up your, your shaker there. Uh, while we were there. Oh, that's where you're getting at. Yeah, yeah. We, we had our Magnum uh, greens. And I... I'm more than positive that because we were hydrated and we had our Magnum Greens, uh, that it probably saved our ass from being hung the fuck over quite a few times. Probably. Yeah. I mean, not to mention making sure to get our uh, fruits and vegetables and protein every day. And then this as like our topper with that. Like, yeah. Absolutely. We were well hydrated. So, uh, Big thank you to Magnum for putting out incredible products and being a part of our lives. Uh, what's what's your code? It's Alicia. Alicia four eight eight four eight eight off of Magnum supplements. Save save yourself some money. Alicia four eight eight. It's right there. It will be right there unless you're. If you're watching this on Twitch, you just look at me wave at the screen. If you watch this on YouTube, <laughs> there it is. Anyway. Uh, any final thoughts with uh, that trip? I would go again. Yeah, I was going to say, when can we go back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's bring Dan and, and James. and. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We'll bring Soul Shepherdess. Let's and just go down and party. <laughs> her significant other, Scythe Kaizen, you're invited to. Uh, before we wrap up this episode, again, we're streaming... We're streaming live on Twitch right now. Uh, if you guys have any final questions, we will absolutely field them in regards to our trip to Mexico. We went to Cabo San Lucas. We stayed at the Pacifica. Also, uh, again, uh, Alicia's code is Alicia488 on uh, Magnum Supplements. Uh, if you have any final questions, I mean, we're live right now. We would be happy to ask uh it says uh, James says uh, I want to see all the camels and the alcohol uh, <laughs> Soul says yeah love the camels sure um, I should okay so there's nothing else on the front of this shirt and again this shirt is a large and I usually get large t-shirts this I should have gotten an extra large <laughs> but there's something on the back that's cool that's pretty much the experience that we had, right? Yep, yeah, yeah. They're leading us down the beach. Exactly. Yeah. We even had the little hats on with helmets underneath. Yeah. So. It was cool. Mm-hmm. It was very cool. Yeah. I would absolutely, without a doubt, go again. Yeah. Uh, I would get a room at the Pacifica I would try to get in fact like this the room in the exact same tower because I thought where we were was perfect mm-hmm. uh, I don't know if we should clarify it's the Pueblo Bonito Pacifica right absolutely I don't know, I don't know if that matters and then yeah. the, the other the sister hotel was the Sunset Hotel yeah. yeah yeah. so I would absolutely go again yeah me too so uh if we're not going to field any more questions, we'll wrap up this episode. So uh, another quick reminder, 
Uh, TheMediaJack.ca is where you want to go for uh, more podcast stuff as well as where you can find our merch, myself, The Media Jack, as well as the Iron Bikini clothing. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Turn the label. Turn the label. There it is. <laughs> so The Iron Bikini as well as the Media Jack uh, merch at themediajack.ca. I s- can I? Oh, oh. There it is. There. Anyway. <laughs> Shirt doesn't help. <laughs> also, uh, if you want to save some money on supplements and have supplements delivered, uh, it is again uh, Alicia488 on uh, Magnum Supplements. It gets website- you like 15% off most products. Yes, exactly. And I do know, I'm pretty sure you get a discount if you get something, if your order exceeds $100. Yeah, I think so, like free shipping or something. Exactly. Yeah. So, and that's about it. A thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel, The Media Jack. Also, don't forget, like, subscribe to her channel as well, Alicia Simpson 13, or just search on YouTube, The Iron Bikini as uh, it will show up and there will be more content there. Uh, a shout out to uh, Carberry80, Soul Shepherdess, as well as Scythe Kaizen, as they've been a part of the live chat. We will probably do this again in the near future because we love interacting with you. Anyway, I'm JD, the Media Jack. This is Alicia Simpson, the Iron Bikini. And thanks so much for joining us. Any Thank last you. words? Uh, go watch our Oreo video because it was funny. <laughs> We still have Oreos over here, you know? Oh, yeah. They're right there. Oh, we should have one. <laughs> <laughs> Bust one out now. Might, might as well. <laughs> <laughs>